again, everybody. James and Kerry again with the Updike Family Homestead. We hope you've had a uh, a wonderful week, or I guess two I weeks. should say two weeks, because we did a unfortunately miss last week's deadline for recording and uh, uh, posting a, a podcast or a video. But again, if you're you're watching us, uh, we we appreciate you being here very much. We're gonna go over a couple of pretty uh, uh, intense things for the next few minutes. And so uh, thank you for being here. If you're on the podcast, we thank you again for tuning in and just hope this uh, brings you some comfort and some joy. So uh, the reason, again, we, we told you that we would be very transparent on this podcast and some things would be great and shiny and some things just wouldn't be and they would be dirty and and nasty and sloppy. It seems like sloppy. this is the way that it happens sometimes yeah. though. It's yeah. like... It, it's never just one thing. It, yeah. it was just multiple things. Yeah. So uh, you know, January's been tough. I, I don't know if it's been tough on you guys, but January has been tough mm -hmm. on us. And so um, you know, a lot, a lot of prayers can feel a lot of your prayers uh, as we've been out fighting battles. But uh, mm -hmm. thank you for those. Please keep those coming. But so about three weeks ago, well, I guess about four weeks ago, we were down in uh, in Georgia. Uh, mm -hmm. with our, our oldest daughter and, and her family and just spending a little quality time with them uh, leading up to a doctor's appointment. We got back home on that Monday, uh, was able to, you know, work that week. No, um, we got home Monday and then Tuesday I got the call. Two, okay, so yeah, okay. Because well, yeah. I had literally just unpacked. I was able to work on Tuesday. We had just unpacked, washed the clothes, and... Uh, if you don't know, my dad had a stroke about three weeks ago, um, highly unexpected as most strokes are. Mm -hmm. um, he had a stroke about three weeks ago. He um, did fairly well from yeah, that. Yeah, recovered you know? somewhat. Um, they put him on some new medication. He was able to go home and, and uh, uh, you know, be semi-normal, um, you know, with, with some vision loss and things like that. Uh, but then last uh, Tuesday... He began to have seizures as well, and so uh, and he had a second. Stroke. He had seizures, and he had a second stroke, and and maybe more. Um, he is he is okay, uh, as okay can be in that situation. So we, uh, Kira and I, repacked really quick. Um, you know, thank thank goodness for my folks at work that were willing to work around that with me, and uh, let me take some time off and. Uh, so we headed out on Wednesday uh, for the eight-hour drive to Virginia and, and got there uh, to the hospital late Wednesday night. He was in ICU. Uh, actually doing well. Uh, it was was doing well, and, and they had downgraded him. And, and oddly enough, he came home Thursday, which I don't think was really a great decision at the time. I think he was 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 uh, well and, and thinking he was going to be well, but uh, he did go home with still some bleeding on his brain. And so... Uh, Stayed a week and a half with them. Yeah, so we ended up there uh, Thursday, Friday, you know, Saturday, Sunday. We came all the way through uh, this past Thursday, a couple of days ago. Um, we started making the trek home and, and just an exhausting time. Um, uh, my dad is, if you guys know me, I'm, I'm pretty large. I'm 6'4", about 265. My dad's probably 6'1 or 2 now. He used to be 6'4". And about, I'd say 275, 280, uh, he was not able to walk. And so that was a challenge. That was a challenge getting him up, moving him around, getting him I from bathrooms it's a challenge to chair. To watch our parents. It, it like, is. And so that's kind of really what I want to talk about yeah. is, is, you know, uh, that it, it's all inevitable. You know, it's inevitable that, that we'll all go through this and we'll go through struggles and, and, you know, we have to be prepared to be prepared because, you know, again, his house was definitely not uh, ready for him to be ill, uh, you know, as most of our houses are probably not ready. There's so many things that you think about when you're going into a rollator or a wheelchair that you, you've never had to think about before. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure many of you have been through uh, these situations. And, and uh, you know, one thing I, I did realize is how much I appreciate my own tools and knowing where my own tools are because I, I had to kind of piece together where all of his tools were and, and post hole diggers and building 
handrails and, and just doing basic maintenance things, you know, to, to help make his stay comfortable because I know at least, you know, right now and maybe long term, but I really hope not long term, but for right now he's he's not very mobile, not able to do a lot of things. So And we know what that's like. Yeah. So like we, yeah, with you. I and mean, then thankfully, we, yeah. you know, we we knew some of the things that we needed to mm -hmm. change in the home to make it safer. Yeah, yeah. And to make Maneuverable. it Maneuverable. Yes. Yeah. To make mm -hmm. it, you know, easier for him. Yeah. Um, we knew to, you know, pull up those area rugs and mm -hmm. to move furniture out of the way and to slide things over and um, pull things down, you know, that you Yeah, that to... you can get a hold of. You know, you yeah. don't think about, you know, going to the bathroom and things like that. And, and, you know, and then how do you get to the refrigerator if you can't walk? And then, you know, things like that. So we, we, we spent a, uh, we, we spent seven or eight days just really trying to get him as comfortable as possible. Um, we, we did have to leave because obviously I do have to get back to, to work. And uh, so we did have to leave. We're, we're still in pretty constant communication. Um, no real improvements, but no more declines either. As long-term memory is, is great. His short-term memory is very uh, very sparse. <clears throat> I mean, he, he knows that he talked to you, but he's not necessarily sure what he talked about. So, um, you know, again, if you if you... Uh, would please keep him in your prayers. Um, keep us in your prayers as we continue to kind of navigate this and uh, and see, you know, what happens and, and, and you know, what's going to go on. But, um, you know, that's one of the things I really want to talk about is just getting prepared, getting your getting your life prepared for whatever that is. We, we've had a lot of bad news in the last couple of weeks, you know, in terms of friends and family and, and just buddies that are sick or going through things and and you know we we always you know especially on social media want to make sure everything shines and it's like you know fresh fresh roses and things like that but life is not like that and life is life is challenging life takes prayer life takes work life takes a lot of cooperation and life takes a lot of things going right that you didn't even know could go wrong mm -hmm. and uh and and so uh really want to just kind of you know, come on, give you guys a quick update as to what's going on and encourage you to, you know, start thinking about things. You know, one, one thing that I definitely uh, realized in this is, is I need to check on my parents more, you know. Um, I need to check on them and make sure that they're okay, that they don't need anything, you know. Is there little small things that you can go do, you know. And I'm, t I'm speaking to everybody out here in, in a, you know, media land you know is there are there little things that you can do to help your neighbor help your grandparents help your parents you know that that things that they just can't do anymore you know i mean just simple things like you know chopping wood or, or building a handrail or, or or again you know going and running a vacuum i mean it's just something that you can do that you're adding quality and value to their life and in, in the the small things that you're doing so um that's really, you know, kind of what I want to talk about is to encourage you guys to find those opportunities. I mean, there, there are many, many everyday opportunities that you can can give back to somebody help. else. Yeah, you you can help somebody or make somebody's life a little bit easier. We hear a lot of negative things. We see a lot of cameras, you know, that are pointed at people when they're doing things wrong, but you don't hear a whole lot about people doing things right. And so... Um, be that person. Be, be that person that is that is encouraging. Be that person that tries to lift people's spirits. Got a lot of texts from family, from friends, from people I work with, you know, just checking. And a lot of times that's, that's enough. the most important mm -hmm. thing. You know, a lot of times you don't realize what you're in the middle of, but you've got people that are around you. And, and, and we're pretty open. We're pretty transparent. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, when things are good, we mm -hmm. share. When things are not good, we share. But yeah. there are there are so many people that will only share the good. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. you have absolutely no yep. idea that they're going through a trial yep. or a tribulation. Mm -hmm. And let, let me just, let me throw some scripture in here. I don't know the verse, but we are to carry one another's mm -hmm. burdens. Yeah. We are supposed to be yeah. there for our brothers and our sisters in Jesus, in Yeshua, the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And we're, you know, our burdens are not meant for us to carry them alone. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, 
check on the quiet people. Yeah. Check on because yeah. I was very independent before mm-hmm. I got sick, and even oh. after I got sick, I didn't want anybody to know that I was mm-hmm. sick. I kept it very private, just between you and me, yeah. oh, for yeah. a long time. Um, and that's why I call and check on her a couple of times a day, is mm-hmm. to you know to make sure. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and so you know, put put the negative feelings aside put the hurt aside because many times we'll hold on to the hurt and the bitterness and the anger Mm -hmm. and because of that we miss the opportunity for forgiveness to share love Mm -hmm. to show love unconditional Mm -hmm. love regardless of how someone has treated us if you choose to not just like I said, just a just a text. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about you. If somebody is on your mind and they've been on your mind for a, a yeah. there's a reason. That's a reason. There, there's yeah. a reason for that. Something stirring. Re- yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Reach reach out and just send them a text. I mean, it it'll take you five minutes of yep. your day mm-hmm. just to send the text, just to say, you know, I'm, you've been on my mind. I don't know why. I'm praying for you. If if you need me, please, yep. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. So if any of my boys see this, you know, thank you because I needed that encouragement. Any of my uh, my group of, of men, I appreciate that. I appreciate the text. I appreciate the encouragement. I appreciate the offers of uh, of, of help, you know, of, of just, you know, hey, what do you need? You know, yeah. and so. Um, I, I'm thankful for our kids. I mean, yeah. like Haley, oh, Haley was, and, yeah. you know, Savannah was there in spirit and in prayer and she was reaching out and talking to me almost every day, but. Haley and Colin were manning the the homestead. They were holding the fort down. And even though Colin doesn't live here anymore, you know, he was checking on his sister. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you okay? Is everything at the house okay? What can I help with? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we came home. We didn't didn't lose any animals. No, no animals are gone. The house is still standing. Everything, yeah, everything survived. And I was really thankful for them. You know, last night we rode, I don't know if you can, we rode, we read, I don't know if you can see behind us. We were in the book of Exodus talking about our Torah portion last night. And it uh, there was a, a section is, is leading to uh, the Passover and, and the actual uh, Exodus from, from Egypt, from Mitzrayim. And, and Yahweh, God the Father, told Moses to go tell the people to be prepared because they are going to have to jump and go quickly. When the time comes, they're going to have to go and go fast. And so you're only going to be able to pack a few things. You're going to only going to be able to pack what you can carry because mm-hmm. you don't have a whole lot of time to make these decisions. So, you know, again, as you're, you're sitting around and you're wasting time, start getting things prepared because, again, you have no idea when you're going to get that call that, hey, something's wrong and you have to be the one to act on it. You know, I mean, something mm-hmm. happened and, and it's going to affect you. My, our son Colin has been to two funerals in the last two weekends of young people, 21 and under, that have been in car accidents. You know, and 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 so I mean that's happening very regularly. And and uh, you know, again, that's the age of my children. And and I don't, you know, I I can't imagine getting that call and and you know just praying for those people and trying to encourage those people that you know I may not know, but. So it have touched so yeah. many people, you know. So it's not just about having your life in order and mm-hmm. being prepared to go at you know at the drop of a hat, but yeah. is your heart prepared? Is your heart right? Yeah. It, are Are you prepared mm-hmm. in a spiritual mindset? Mm-hmm. Do you know Yeshua the Messiah? Yeah. Do you know who Jesus Christ is? Yeah. Do you you know Do you rely on your relationship with the father yeah. because if Moses had not had the relationship with Yahweh mm-hmm. he would not have been able to be that messenger yeah. and prepare God's people yep. for that exodus yep. um, like and always crying in the wilderness yes and then there's other ways that we do need to be prepared I mean like homesteading is all about preparing yeah. and so like while we were gone you can probably I'll, I'll shake them here you, yeah. you can hear you what can, we what came in tons of, <laughs> tons I mean, of we were again you know yeah. continuing to prepare for our own adventure you know while we were off helping somebody else on theirs and so um, really not going to be a, a, a long message this week um, not going to be a long uh, uh, 
podcast or, or video this week, just really want to encourage you guys to check on your people. If you, if you haven't heard from, uh, you know, friends, family, check on them, you know. And if you need to because, be a Moses, share yeah, that word of Yahweh. Precisely. Share that word of precisely. God to help them prepare mm -hmm. for their future. Yep, because yeah. it's... Yeah. If, if, if chaos isn't on you yet, chaos will come on you soon. And, and that's, uh, that's pretty much evident in our, in our culture right now. If, you, if you're not dealing with chaos, get ready because the next one's coming. So, um, so I, and we do, like I said, we do apologize. We know that we promised you guys it'd be a new podcast yeah. published every Friday. And we we're, tried, but we're a couple days not, late yeah. on this one just because we had just gotten home on yeah, Friday. Yeah, and, um, so. And we were exhausted, mm -hmm. but uh, so this is a couple of days late, and um, the next, you know, we'll we'll try to mm -hmm. record. We'll try to be better prepared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were definitely <laughs> and record um, several of mm -hmm. these at a time, and and that way, if this ever happens again, yeah. that yeah, we'll you know, be able we to, to, to get one out there and, and, and encourage you guys. Um, you know, we again, had a lot of people reach out to, and guys, we really do appreciate our fans. Um, that that did reach out like hey you know like where are you guys at because of course yeah. tiktok they they Hold were they were messaging you know? me like what is going yeah. on like we've we've not had our bible study live yeah. we've not <laughs> what's going on Keep us accountable. so i we really do appreciate you guys and of course if you're not already following us we are on facebook and tiktok instagram uh, we have our website updikefamilyhomestead.com we're of course here on youtube and eBay. So mm -hmm. uh, follow us on all of those platforms. Yep. We we really do appreciate all of yep. the support. Like, and subscribe, do all of that. You know, and again, if you have any, you know, prayer requests, anything like that, feel free to email us up at familyhomesteadgmail.com or leave them in the comments. You know, yeah, again, absolutely. we love reading the comments and, and seeing those come through throughout the week. Um, and just. Uh, but I'm spring is coming, too. and we do have a lot of videos about... February is coming, too, and yes. I hope it's a little smoother than January. Yes, yes. I said so. yesterday, I'm already be wearing the Ides of March <laughs> from, from uh, Julius Caesar, Shakespeare's, uh, you know, uh, great work. Uh, if the Ides of March are anything like the month of January, it's going to be an interesting right. month, so... Well, thanks, guys, so very much for joining us this evening. Yep. We'll see you next Friday. Thanks, guys. Bye.